Hey guys, and welcome to Irish Ham Radio, or if you've been here before, welcome back to Irish Ham Radio. I'm Dave, call sign EI5IMB, and in today's video, on New Year's Day 2022, Happy New Year, I want to test a two meter filter that I've built out of an old duplexer for use on uh, soda summits that have a lot of RF or a lot of transmitters. So let's see how it goes. I start guys I'd just like to say number one uh, since my last video I have passed 300 subscribers thank you very very much everybody who subscribed everybody who watches the videos and everybody who's liked the videos I really really appreciate it and of course if you like this one guys and you're first or you're new to the channel it's your first time on the channel please do like the video and if you want to see more uh, please subscribe so anyway into what we're doing so what I'm here to do today on trust more guys is see if I can get a filter working for two meters and the reason for that is Take for example Trustmore where I'm going today. It's a massive uh, transmitter site, broadcast site. And anytime I've tried to activate this on two meters, what happens is uh, the stations I'm calling can hear me, but I cannot hear them due to all the RF descensing occurring from the massive amounts of RF that's up here. So inspired by um, a class little project I, I, I saw by uh, Tony Bratnock. I'll actually put a, a link in the description of the video to his video where he actually built his own filter. Um, it's really, really cool. Now look, at I didn't get to that uh, ability or to that stage yet with my skills. Um, but look, it's, it's actually not that difficult. When you look at his video, it shows you everything you need and everything you need to do. And I suppose it's more nearly even a time thing with myself. But it turned out anyway, inspired by him, I realized that I had a number of old uh, VHF duplexers sitting around. So for example, this is one of them. Okay, so what I decided I'd do it is actually retune it. Now I'm no expert in retuning and tuning these cavities. Um, so I basically used an SWR meter and twiddled and twerked with the, uh, the adjustments here to see if I could just tune one side of it to a simplex frequency of 145 500, the FM uh, two meter calling frequency. Um, and what I've done is I've done that now with this duplexer, as you can see just labeled it there so what's going to happen is I have um, a cable coming off this to a, a, a female SMA which is going to be plugged into my Anytone ATD 878 UV which I usually use for my two meter uh, portable operations and then on the other side I just have an adapter on the antenna port as you can see with a male SMA um, because I'm going to put my female SMA antenna onto that and I've just blanked off the other side of this duplexer which would normally be used for a, for a, for a double frequency system and this is an antenna that I've never actually used yet it's one of these uh, military sort of um, whip jobs so we're going to give this a go as well and for the first time I genuinely don't know whether this is going to work guys I really really don't which means it's a true experiment uh, at the end of this video could be me going yay and activate and uh, trust more or the end of this video could be me going and uh, no I obviously know nothing about uh, tuning these cavities and it's back to the drawing board but either way I'm going to show you how this turns out so this is the assembly of the uh, military uh, tactical antenna onto the duplex or, or what is now is a simplex uh, filter hopefully uh, for 145500 so the next thing now is just to connect the radio up here uh, get some warmer clothes on and uh, start walking over to where I'm going to start activating hopefully uh, from I'm not sure how well I'll be able to video up here guys because it's very very windy but I'll give it a go anyway you mightn't be able to hear any audio but hopefully I'll be able to put the camera in such a place that you can see me trying to transmit anyway so let's get at it
some stations there. EI3IX, just to confirm me, you're receiving over. Yeah, QSL, Joe, and apologies to all stations on frequency. Just with this filter, I can't move. I'll be as quick as I can. You're five and eight now, five and eight, Joe. Uh, you're five and eight. Uh, just where I've moved to here and the way I have the antenna oriented over. QSL, thank you very much, Joe, and apologies again. I'll be very quick here. Sorry for holding up 500. CQ, 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 Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo, Stroke Portable, SOTA. Echo India 4, Yeah, QSL, how you doing, Dan? Fair play to you. EI4, HNB Portable, EI5, IMB Portable here also. Up on uh, Truskmore here, Truskmore. You're 5 and 9, Daniel, and getting you 5 and 9, over. Yeah, QSL, fair play, man. Thanks very much for the for the chase there. Thank you very much for the chase. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the beach. Uh, QRZ, Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo, Stroke Portable. CQ, CQ, Soda, over. Okay, guys, thank you very much for the frequency. Uh, if any stations can hear me, there's a lot of RF up here, and I'm attempting to uh, shield myself from it with a filter and some moving about. So I'm going to move to another location on the other corner of the mountain. If you can please stay on frequency, if you want to chase me, I need another two uh, chasers. I'll be moving and be back on QRV in about five to five, less than ten minutes. Over. I think I heard Keith calling in there. EI five KO. EI5IMB stroke portable. Is that you, Keith? Over. Thank you, SL Keith. Fair play to you, man. Happy New Year to you as well. And maybe the next time you're down, we'll be able to get one together. Cheers for the chase, Keith. Really appreciate it. That's, that's three now, so really appreciate it. I'm going to move now, less than 10 minutes, 6 or 7 minutes, I'll be back here or be trying from another location. Get a bit of shelter here as well from the wind without going out of the activation zone. Uh, 7 threes for now, uh, and leave the frequency open back in uh, less than 10 minutes. CQ Sota, CQ Sota, CQ Sota, Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo, Stroke Portable, Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo, Stroke Portable, CQ Sota. Well, Joe, I've still got you there. I've disconnected this filter I was testing today now. Uh, it didn't seem to make any difference. I, try, I was listening to you in a QSO there with and without the filter and no difference. Just anyone else hear me there? Uh, Echo into 5 and you might probably shoot for it. We'll see you on so good. calling there please go ahead and adjust my antenna a bit here see if I can receive you over if you're listening there if you can receive me I will uh, stay on frequency on the radio as I make my way back so I'll stay on frequency on 145500 EI5 IMB portable for now going clear but stay on during 145500 7 threes guys thanks for all your help Guys, I tried my uh, duplexer slash filter today. It definitely was tuned correctly because I was able to transmit and get out to uh, Joe EI3IX down in Mayo. So there was no problem that way. But unfortunately, it must be a tight enough notch to actually filter the RF um, that's up here because the receive on my radio, no matter what I did, whether I had the filter on or whether I didn't have.
have the filter on was pretty much the same. It was just a case of having to um, reorientate the antenna. I was in all sorts of weird polarizations trying to get signal. Uh, basically had to almost lie the radio down at about 30 degrees to receive a lot of people up here, which is probably, that uh, polarization is probably uh, cutting out the RF interference up here, I'm not sure. But anyway, another solution has to be had. I think I might have to go down the road of uh, Tony's uh, homebrew filter and make a proper one this time. I'll try it again. But thank you everybody for uh, chasing me. I did get the activation. Well, hey, I got the activation. Thanks very much. Just about five stations. Really appreciate it, guys. And a happy new year. <laughs>